the most dangerous narcissists are the ones who are the communal narcissist who I said was the gift giver narcissist but there is a, a technicality with what I'm trying to, to say as these types of people well it could end up being gift giving a lot of times that's what they are doing is providing people with their needs um, trying to meet needs um, which falls under it can fall under the gift giving narcissist but there's a whole other um, section about the gift giver a, a narcissist who gives gifts they are giving you gifts that they aren't at all what you need it has nothing to do with like what you need or who you are you know it's just a complete like they are not even reality oriented they don't know any truth about you or anything so the gifts that they give is just like okay you, you it, it probably goes along with the well it's the thought that counts which we kind of know ancient ancient the ancient um wisdom knows that thoughts don't really count <laughs> really not really uh that's a narcissist's philosophy that's trying to come in and make you chase, chase the mind around but getting back to the where um, the most dangerous types are the communal narcissists who they be sure to meet your needs by gift giving or whatever it is but the main thing is is that they have a harem around them and most everybody sees them as good do-gooders um, of the community they have a huge they have a harem around them they could be church oriented or just um, gathering um, a harem because they're known to gift, give, and actually meet needs, but they won't meet your human needs. This is what is strange and this is what is terrible. Um, like, you know, you can kind of look at maybe the communal narcissist would be a priest or somebody who, uh, that that's a bit of a, um, like, you know, how priests can have gotten a bad rap and even teachers and, and some doctors, of course, and therapists, maybe. You know, they um, are surrounded by people there, there of which um, is an opportunity to uh, abuse a few people, maybe. And um, so um, now when you have been relying on these people or something, you can, you can imagine how staggering that must be. So where we're left with any narcissist really is the right communication, really. It, it comes to that point of communicating where you're going to just like say okay come on you know let's let's make it visible like at least let's find out what our agenda is and, and do we agree or disagree are we going to walk away or are we going to stay on on it and and see they don't really communicate um especially when you start getting on to them if you start pulling their covers a little bit um they'll just stop communicating and and uh, by that time, there has been so much disrespect to you. You're making the mistake of going to the enemy and, 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 and trying to make them admit that that's who they are. They will never, ever do that. In fact, you're in a lot of danger there. Um, so you have to back away, you know. Um, and also, you know, not only just that um, you may have entangled yourself to the point of you know, it could hurt you to to not go to their services or whatever. You have to, like I said, shoot yourself in the shoulder or shoot yourself in the foot. Make it look like that you are you are the one, you know, because you can't really talk with them after a while. There is no communication at all there. They, if you notice, they weren't really communicating with you in the first place. Really, they never really hit the depths of why that you could even be associating. They're posing that. They're posing why that they're there. And uh, I'm not getting onto the, the subject matter that I need to talk about because of the way that it starts getting, um, you know, it wouldn't matter. Any, no narcissism would matter to any of us, men or women. If you were a man or woman, that's very questionable. We get on that subject matter later. We're talking about undeveloped little kids here that assume the position of being a man and woman based on fucking what Disneyland teaches them.
And then these people are having kids on top of that. And that's okay, fine, but stop hurting real people. And what um, the narcissist is really doing, and, uh, you know, we can talk about the churches, what they're really preying on, is a human need. We all need to boot up ourselves. We all need to learn for ourselves. We all need to become responsible. We all need to become free. And they are like, oh, hey, I will help you with that. Uh -huh, yeah. Be, uh, how? Well, it's just an avenue in which you will see somebody taking advantage. And that um, right there, um, because they have nothing to do with their own evolution. You know, this is a delicate subject, subject matter, but, but they aren't offering that to you. In fact, they're offering to undermine that of you. And it's like, yeah, and, and you just... Um, it's like they want you on their level, of course. And uh, if you don't know any better, you're not going to understand what's happening until after a while. You have to go by your gut feelings, babe. They don't feel good. The more you get intimate with them, like you want to get close to them, um, you'll see. You'll see the a relationship break down and just fizzle out. You're like, whoa, that person really wasn't interested in anything that they were holding up saying, yes, interest, none, none. They not, they're not interested in you, especially as an intimate partner when they have sex with you. They're not interested in sex for the reason why that you will, you'll be interested in sex. And that's where it really gets up to like, well, that's where, to me, that's all that it matters. I, like I said, I don't care what the fuck you're doing as men and women. You know, all of you, I can do better and I can, you know, pierce my nose and I can fly a plane and skydive and I ride horses and I pet cats and I throw darts and I do this and that. Who fucking gives a living shit? It's at the time when you think you want something from each other's bodies and an intimate experience. First of all, pay attention to how you're talking to each other. And really put everybody on mute and watch actions. Does this person have a real life of an interest of something? Or is it just what they can get out of your head? You know what I mean? And 80%, you know, I'm so fucking sick and tired of this fucking faction of people out of there. 80% of you, all up in your head. It takes time to find out who each other is. It takes, like... 2.5 years to just accidentally you figure out, well, you've always been there. And that's what's called a friend. You say, well, you've always been there. And it just seems like no matter what, you've been there. Can't help but to notice that you're there. That's how friends work. Narcissists think that you choose your friends. It's like, no, yeah. You you choose to look and see, you know what? You've always been there. Well, I, I think I'm, I'm going to admit that. A friend is just somebody you find there. And then after that, then you want to, you, you, you might have something more there a narcissist you could be friends for like seven or eight or ten years but then an intimate moment comes up where you have to be like emotionally re reliant or even physically like oh you want to get physical deterioration they're the only ones that can start deteriorating your relationship the, the closer you get to them and there's where you figure out that you really never had a relationship with them when you start wanting to get real and saying, hey, do you love me? It's like, no, you're not. You, you know what? They don't have any respect for you. It's such a long subject matter. It's really interesting. And, you know, um, it's hard to tell who's who after a while, you know, but it, the only way that we are going to be able to um, get better as empaths say, oh, oh, because we hurt. We hurt because, first of all, this person is not even going to give you the respect of a, a fucking decent conversation. They're saying that you don't exist. And then if you notice, it's all about me, me, me. Look at what I, oh, I am so, and, you know, and it's just me, me. And it's like, you know what? You want to discredit them and you want to deval devalue them. You want to go right where the narcissist will. And it's like, you know what? Just fucking, you know, I think narcissists always have this inevitable story that everybody abandons them and also um, nobody trusts them after a while um, you know and they are just these loners and it's not like the empath is the loner babe these are just people that have fucking a lot of people surrounding them but they can feel so genuinely alone doing something wrong there that's for sure you, the saying goes, you can fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool all of the people all the time. 
And with Pluto in Aquarius, we're just going to know. We're just going to know. It's like, oh, there's a fucking case right there. Trying to suck people in. Vampires and all of these other people who think that they can hide reality from you and, 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 and alter the truth and shit. Witches, bad fucking black fucking demon, demonic people. Uh, who, um, man, you're ruining sex? You probably can't really cook. I mean, what are you eating? 